Hi, this is the instructional video for the 18 foot and 23 foot cinema case packages. You get a screen, the, this is the 18 foot, the 23 foot is a little bit bigger than this. You also get a blower and stakes in the mouth and yard grass. Let's get this out of my way. When, it, when you uh, put the screen away, uh, you want to just make sure you roll it up neat. Um, if you just stuff it in the bag, it gets wrinkly. There's air vent zippers. The 18 foot just has usually just one. The 23 foot, there's a couple. I think there's three. But you want to make sure those air vent zippers are zipped closed. And then uh, leave them open when it's time to put away. When you turn off the blower, it, it automatically just starts collapsing, falling forward. It wants to fall forward. We'd rather fall backwards. And then as soon as it's nice and flat, I, do, I just keep folding it till it's the width of the bag that it came in, and then you roll it. Usually roll it towards the zipper and it'll push the air out. So what, it, what will happen is there's an inflation sleeve on these screens and it just draws strings around the nozzle of this blower. And then you just stake it down. There's tethers already attached, top corners and on the bottom corners, you just go up diagonally. Okay, we have another video with the screen. So the main purpose is to show you how these cases work. So over on this left side is the 50 foot extension cord. You're just going to plug this in into the power outlet. And then you'll have power to the case. It's hard to see, but there is an outlet right here. That's what you'll use to power the blower. And this lid, on this lid here, is a little nine foot or 12 foot extension cord. And you'll use that to plug into the blower to this outlet to power the blower. This distance, we're gonna pretend this wall is a screen. This distance isn't too far. It's uh, for the 18 foot, this is a short throw projector. For the 18 foot, it's probably gonna be like six to eight feet. And for the 23 foot, you're gonna be more like 10 to 12 feet. And you had to, that's just an estimate. You had to play around with the, you know, those. And you can zoom the projector too, so uh, you could even get closer than that. And I'm gonna talk about the zoom here in a minute. But you just open the, the door here, remove this cap, and you wanna make sure to re put this back. Uh, how these cases work is it's a short throw projector, but there's a big lens of these short throw projectors that are kind of vulnerable to being scratched or cracked or whatever. But I've been guilty of it as well. It falls down back under there out of sight and you can forget about it. So if you can remember to put that cover back on that, it'd be very helpful. There's a DVD remote and a projector remote. You don't have to use the projector remote. Um, you can just use uh, the controls here on the top of the projector. But we'll just turn it on here and hear it beep. Here's one of the most common troubleshooting tips that uh, I see is uh, during transportation, moving this big case around, uh, this little power cord can wiggle loose and just disconnect a little bit and even come all the way out and fall back under underneath there. You'll, you'll know it came unplugged if there's no light. So you wanna make sure there's a light, otherwise you won't have any sound. This is the, the HDMI switch. It adds extra HDMI inputs. There's three there. And that little blue light shows you what input you're on. Right now we're on the DVD player, so it's on five, but there's also this Apple adapter for an Apple product. It should manually go to whatever input you're in. So say if you're in input three with an Apple TV, that little blue light should go to three. If it doesn't, you can manually make it go to three. Where I've seen it get hung up sometimes is, you know, the, the Apple adapter is used a lot because people are listening to music before it's dark enough to watch a movie. And, and that's a good point. Sometimes I get calls like that where they can't see the picture and it's because it's just not dark enough. But it can get stuck on the Apple one sometimes. And if it's on like one, but you, you're now it's time to watch the DVD, 
you can make manually make it go to five. The other little nifty thing with this case is this little headphone jack. You can you can plug it into any any device with a headphone jack that can play music and it'll play through these speakers. Okay, so this will be the volume. You don't have to worry about any of these other knobs. This is labeled here volume. That will just control the volume to the speakers. And down here is the DVD player. You want to get close and just push open tray button there. Put in the DVD. It'll play regular Blu-rays. I mean, it'll play regular DVDs or Blu-rays. Sometimes with Blu-ray players, it doesn't pick up the, the disc right at first. So you, you may have to open the tray a second time. Okay, so it's, it's important to get this guy you know, as, as perpendicular and as level as you can. The projector itself can pitch and tilt and stuff, but the more the, the more you have this case straight, the, the square the picture's gonna be. There's also keystone, and I'll show you that. How you zoom is gonna be this little lever, lever right there. That's how you're gonna, I mean, sorry, not zoom, that's how you're gonna focus it. Zoom is on the remote. I'm just gonna show you that right now. So everything you're gonna need is gonna be uh, push menu and it's going to be in settings that's where everything you're going to need is there's keystone we'll go over that and then there's zoom this projector will zoom past 100 percent and i'm not sure where that is but once you go past 100 percent, i mean it can get really big in a hurry but you, you go past 100 percent or you go too much it starts cropping the picture so you want to find that fine line of having the biggest picture possible so this case doesn't have to be back very far but also you're not cropping the picture usually halfway is a good place to start uh, the other uh, thing would be the keystone to fix the picture so there's two ways to fix the keystone and what keystone is is when the picture is like a trapezoid and when you angle up the projector or whatever it will throw the picture like this and so to straighten it out you can either do horizontal or quick corner quick corner you just you can pull out any corner by just by hitting those arrows um, bottom corners and top corners uh, the other the other way to do it is uh, horizontal vertical that would be this right here and you just can change it that way go trade away whatever way you need to go and the, the horizontal we needed to go this way so a little bit so you can play around with that and get the picture. Just know that there'll be probably space above and, and below. You just want to fill it in that way. Just kind of the formats of movies now. Um, and you in, you have to escape out of that or hit menu. This doesn't go away. You either have to hit escape and then, then it'll go away. Let's just play the movie here. Turn the volume. Nick is right now. All right. That concludes the instructional video for the 18 foot and 23 foot cinema case.